All right, let me pull up the live stream. I think there's already one person here. <laughs> You're an early bird. Make sure my volume's off here too. There's a Batman in the corner. Try to adjust that a little bit. Man, my desk is dirty. <laughs> you think I would have gotten this ready uh, for this stream, but you know I'm new to live streaming, so you know I'm lazy. <laughs> Give me a break. Hi Teo, how you doing today? Hi Kai. DX3, what's up, buddy? We have Stetson as well. Wait a little bit for some people to join here. And 15 already, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started, uh, I guess. We're a minute in, so that's good enough for people to, to, <laughs> to get noticed. I'm going to start scheduling these so you can actually see and like join the waiting room. I think that's probably going to be a better way to do it so I can just kind of start right off the bat. Because if this gets actually posted uh, afterwards, then ultimately, uh, you know, there's just like this waiting period in the beginning. <laughs> so uh, this is 1.3 pounds. If it's the thing, I think it is anyways. I hold ordered a whole bunch of blind bags, so... I'm not 100% sure, but this should be 1.3 pounds uh, of parts and pieces mostly, but some complete figures in there as well. This was just a random eBay deal. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I think I paid like 60 bucks or something like that. Um, maybe even less. I'm doing all right, Deppy. How are you doing? Film Fanatic said, yay, love these. <laughs> I love them too. Hopefully we do more and more and more of this stuff. Because uh, it is kind of fun to interact with you guys in a live format versus, like, just responding to comments. My little one is asleep, so if I cut it short <laughs> and I have to leave all of a sudden, that's why. I'm on dad duty, so forgive me if that's the case. All right. Let's go ahead and dig into this. Any of you who haven't been here before, obviously, uh, you can always comment. If you see something that I don't see, definitely shout it out. Let me know what's in here, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, first off, the only complete figure, well, a couple of complete figures here. We have, um, this is, I believe, Leia's face. I don't know if that's actually her, supposed to be her uh, face on here, but that's, a, I believe, an Indiana Jones or Lone Ranger fig. I don't remember which one. Uh, that is specifically. Uh, we do have Doc Ock's body. One of the classic old school Doc Ock's bodies there. Yeah, there are a lot of legs in here. <laughs> That's for sure. A lot of it's going to be parts and pieces from my, my uh, mix and match kind of stuff. Ooh, there we go. Cloud City Torso right there, right? <laughs> a lot of people don't know that Cloud City Torso is actually just a regular torso. Uh, the belt's the only thing that makes Cloud City Luke, uh, you know, what he is. Nothing there. We do have young kid Anakin here with his little freckles and <laughs> his tiny little legs. We've got Tatooine Luke, it looks like. Most of these are going to be parts and pieces. Uh, I'll look up the price um, here in a little bit at the end, kind of, just to see what... Oh, Prince of Persia, that's what it is. Thank you for the assist. For sure. Prince of Persia, just a random city fig. Uh, what else? Uh, it's just a black torso. We have some Star Wars figs. There's a pilot in here. Oh, we do have Sabine. There's a good body there. Sabine Wren. Missing her hairpiece. Maybe that's in here somewhere specifically. Oh, uh, there's a gold. <laughs> the golden hairpiece. I think that's from the Agents. I don't remember what that guy's name is, but I think it's from the Ultra Agents. We do have a scary looking Ninjago fig there. Combining Skeletons with ninjas. This looks like an unused cape of some sort. Do I open it? <laughs> Just see what color it is? I guess you can kind of see what color it is as well. Right there. Looks like a dark brown. Something like that. I'll put that to the side. You guys can let me know. Do I open it or not? <laughs> we do have another white cape and another green cape. And for some reason, a purple cape that looks totally different than... All the other capes. I wonder if that's actually Lego or if they just did a different kind of cape. And a Batman cape. All sorts of capes. Capes galore. Put those over there. Got our one-armed monkey. I think this is an Injago fig. I don't remember what this one is. 
like that's true it is probably not <laughs> i mean it could be like what if it was like a, a cloud city lando cape or something like that specifically i mean what what then oh man tearing it open yeah it's just a brown brown cape is there another color on the other side nope just brown that's actually a good cape though these are the actually ones from uh um the Palpatine's Arrest figures use this cape, so I actually use that cape very frequently. So that's a good one to find, actually. I'm really actually stoked about that. Uh, I think, well, Doc Trooper body. A lot of these are just parts and pieces, but I just went by the poundage. So 1.3 pounds uh, is roughly about 100 figs worth of kind of stuff, depending on how much of like this kind of stuff is in there, <laughs> or it's just big, heavy nothing, uh, or crocodiles and stuff. And as I saw that crocodile, I did see this, though. Anybody in the chat know what that is? I think that's right anyways. Anybody? I know it's a little delayed, so I'll give you a second. Anybody know? We did just find this recently in a different blind bag. I think, if it's the thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah, Trelawney again. I'd never had Trelawney before, ever. Uh, and here's another Trelawney set of legs, which is actually probably the rarest piece, because this thing always falls off of all the figures. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. That's a nice little nice little piece. Professor Trelawney from the uh, Hogwarts Castle. I wonder if any of the rest of her is in here like we got before. Now I'm going to be looking at all these like bodies, <laughs> thinking it's a... Uh, Trelawney. We do have the decorated Bespin guard here with the decorated arms. I don't remember which one that's from, the decorated Bespin guard. We do have Grievous's little droid, like fixer droid guy here as well. Obviously he doesn't have his head or anything like that. Let's see if we have any more recognizable bodies at all in here. I think that was an Indiana Jones body. These regular solid colored torsos are actually pretty good because I use them for like Ewoks and stuff like that. So never bad to find those. I don't know what that is, but it looks like some kind of lizard. Is that like what's under the uh, series lizard body? Oh no, he's a, he's a scorpion on the back. Anybody know? I have no idea what that is. I'll give you guys a second to catch up. Uh, we do have an Octan Man. That's always good. Uh, we have Kit Fisto's body. Mighty Micros? I've never even heard of that. Lego Boba Fett's got all the knowledge. <laughs> He's got all the knowledge. Uh, yeah, Kit Fisto, that's a good find. We also have a newer version of Obi-Wan's body, which is good. You can use all those parts and pieces. Do you have Anakin here as well? Ooh, some jetpacks. You can always use these now that Mandalorians are like super expensive. <laughs> I have a ton of Mandalorian bodies with no jetpacks, uh, so it's always good to get jetpacks. What else do we have here? Somebody saw they, said they saw Pepperoni. Yep, oh, there he is. I think that's actually his full, his full character there. That's actually what he looks like, I believe. Full build. Wearing his little crash helmet. <laughs> I don't know if the helmet's legitimate, but there's another Prince of Persia fig body anyways. We're looking for Trelawney parts now. I got the I got the hint of Trelawney. Now all I can have is Trelawney. We got a Hogwarts fig. The head is wrong? That's not his regular head? That totally looks like a pepperoni head. <laughs> he wears a red hat. That could be. That's his face though. Yeah, that's a that's a construction worker hat, so I don't see a hat in here. What's up, L1? I don't know what that is. Anybody? It's gotta be a superhero of some type. We also have Batwoman with a super shiny pink cape. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that figure before. That might be a CMF series um, from the Lego Batman movie or something like that. Uh, I believe that's Pirates of the Caribbean. I never remember his name. We have two of those, actually. <laughs> Red Hood from DC. That could be. Yeah. Uh, what's that guy's name? I'm trying to remember. 
Oh, we have another another dress. I don't think that goes to her, but that's the same figure from Prince of Persia, and I don't know what that dress is. We're getting dresses all over the place, though. Dresses here, dresses there, <laughs> dresses everywhere. Lots of Prince of Persia. We do actually have a Dumbledore face right there with his hair and everything like that. That's kind of cool. All these are... Oh! Look at that! Nobody saw that shine in there? That's actually in good shape, too. Unexpected. We have a chrome Stormtrooper body. <laughs> that's awesome. Obviously, if I have another body, or if I get another one that's not complete or something like that, it's going to be a great, great completion piece. Because it's actually in fantastic shape for being in a bucket of pieces. Like, that is ridiculous to find something like that. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, nobody saw that. Just shining in there. <laughs> the Chrome Stormtrooper is what that's from. Shining in its glory. I don't see the legs or anything like that in here. Maybe we didn't catch that one in the beginning. You'd think that would be the first thing that we actually found, but nobody caught that one, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, I think that's like a ghost boy or something like that is the actual figure itself. Tony, or a uh, Captain Jack head and then a one of the new Rebel pilot Helmets. I think that's Poe's helmet from his X-Wing, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe his co-pilot from the X-Wing. Let's see, does anybody see anything else? These things are all always weird. <laughs> I think those are from Ninjago, right? Where they just, like, temples and stuff like that they sit on. Not 100% sure, though. What else do we got in here? That's a uh, Anakin thing, I think. Tan suits from Iron Man 3. This one? Iron Man 3? What character is it from Iron Man 3? I don't know what character that is. We do have an Iron Man mask here. Always good to get the masks, because a lot of times those fall off. So if you need to replace one, you can do that. We have three of this body. That's a common body. I think it's from Pirates of the Caribbean. Not 100% sure, but I'm guessing that's probably what it's from. We got this kooky-looking guy. I think that's from, like, the time... What do they call those guys? The time something? Where'd I get this stuff? Uh, this was just a random eBay parts and pieces lot. A lot of people are asking what it is, so let me look it up here. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I thought I paid like 60 bucks. I paid 30. <laughs> I paid $30 for this. So uh, the fact that there's like no figures in that or anything like that definitely makes more sense now. But it was a 1.3 pounds of minifig parts and pieces, uh, and I got it for 30 bucks. So, yeah, you definitely can't beat 30 bucks uh, for <laughs> for over a pound of minifig parts because I can sell these as just, like, heads and legs and torsos and stuff like that uh, for, like, a buck a piece. So, worst case scenario, I do, like, 100 bucks on this list lot. But then there's bonus pieces like our, our Chrome Stormtrooper <laughs> that definitely help out the cause uh, as well. And Trelawney legs. I don't know what Trelawney legs are going for on BrickLink. Uh, right now, but somebody look that up. <laughs> somebody look up what the legs only are going for, and we can kind of maybe get get along with that. I don't know what... Oop, I'm throwing legs. I don't know what that torso is. I've never seen that torso before. There's a lot of Lego. It's surprising how much Lego stuff that I've just never seen before. It's kind of crazy, actually, when you think about it. Anybody in the comments know what that one is? Put it over there. We do have... Uh, I, believe, I think this is... Bib Fortuna's body, I think. Unless I'm confusing him with another character. I'm pretty sure, though. Bib Fortuna's body. I think that's right. We have a crazy alien dude here. Of course we have to have a Hoth Rebel, right? Hoth Rebels. Don't know what that is. You got some flame pants, though. That's kind of cool. What else we got in here? This is a pound and a half of stuff, so I figured there's at least be something for a live stream. Uh, I do have a backup bag <laughs> if we need it, uh, if this just becomes totally not interesting. Hey, I think this actually belongs to this. We're solving it out here. That looks right. Right? I wonder what her head or hairpiece looks like. If there's a royal hairpiece in here or something like that. That's not it. Could be something like this. Anybody? Who is that? 
It's got to be some princess or queen or something like that from something. I know a lot of people in this chat are probably Star Wars fans, and they're like, what is what is Castle? <laughs> Lego Boba Fett's got to know. Even though his name's Lego Boba Fett, he seems to know all of the figures. Um, I could use him as an intern for sure. So Lego Boba Fett, you got a job as an intern for me if you want it. Um, looks like we have a clone... This is the uh, the actual Venator clone body. Hey, we got Butt Shop in the house. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we're doing live streams now. He finally allowed me to uh, to do it from my phone, and that's all the camera that I have. <laughs> Glad you could join in, man. Uh, yeah, we do have a the Venator clone, um, which is different from like the Battle Pack clones. Battle Pack clones look like that. We have a Venator clone has the actual clone body on it. So a lot of people thought those were the same fig, but they're not. They're really not worth much. <laughs> For some reason, Senate clones aren't worth very much. I think they're mo one of the most awesome looking clones uh, out there. But for some reason, the Senate clones just really don't do well in terms of pricing uh, or anything like that. Which is surprising to me. I guess it's kind of like the Mandalorians before the Mandalorian came out, where there was just a ton of them. <laughs> so no one, no one cares anymore. Two really cool looking alien shields. I don't know what those came from. Alpi, what's up? Yeah, I think you missed the last one, right? So you made this one, or were you in the last one? I don't remember. You were in class or something like that, the last one. Have I ever found something at a thrift store? Uh, In-person thrift store, no. Um, a lot of the blind bags and stuff like that come from thrift stores online. Um, so that's a lot easier to find thrift stores online. But in terms of actually like walking into a thrift store, I don't usually go to thrift stores very often. But obviously, I feel like I'm in a beer commercial. <laughs> I don't go to thrift stores very often, but when I do, uh, I look I look for Legos, but I've never seen anything. It's an interesting city torso. Oh, you missed it because of school. That's right. So yeah, I did this one a little bit later to see if I could hopefully get a couple more people. Then I had people in the comments saying, why are you doing it so late? <laughs> so I can't win, unfortunately, when you're looking at worldwide time zones. Someone's going to miss out. So we'll try to vary them a little bit. Uh, we do have the damaged Darth Vader torso. For those of you who are new here, this is 1.3 pounds of figure pieces, uh, and I paid 30 bucks. And we did find this one, which was probably the best of the haul today. Actually, the tie between these two was the best uh, things of the haul today. 620? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Like I said, even if I just sell them as just like minifig pieces, <laughs> uh, I'll definitely make double or triple my money. So, uh, anybody look up the Trelawney? I'll look up the, the comments here. DX3, did you look up the, the Trelawney on the uh, on the brick links? Dimensions. Man, Lego Boba Fett's... <laughs> you can't fool him. You come up with all these re regular crazy things, and he's just like, hey, that's, that's what they are. Looks like a couple of people knew what these were from. I never got into Dimensions, but what, uh, what Dimensions set was it? I don't remember that being... I thought Dimensions was all for, like, movie themes and, and stuff like that, specifically. This looks like a uh, a marble. <laughs> oh, it's a volleyball! Is that actually a Lego? It could be, like, a Lego Friends volleyball. It was the main game? Oh, okay. I've never seen a volleyball. I don't know why they make... They, like, I, can, I get it. You make a ball for, like, uh... Um you know, games and stuff, I guess, but they can't hold it, <laughs> which is always weird for me. Uh, yeah, it looks like Wilson. <laughs> the Volleyball Wilson, yeah, for sure. Maybe that came in the soccer sets. I don't know. I've never seen that one before. This one is a Monster, Monster Hunters figure. How do I spell Trelawney? <laughs> That's a great question. I always have to think about that every single time uh, that, I, <laughs> that I try to type it in. Uh, it's very difficult. So a W and a Y in there. I think this is a series fig, like the series climber, I want to say. Maybe it's just a city fig. I don't know. Anybody see anything else interesting? We might have to go to the uh, the backup bag because I don't know what else is in here. Oh, we do have damaged, damaged Darth Vader's legs now. Monster Fighters Girl. You love the Monster Fighters Girl? Can't find, <laughs> sorry, I can't find the spelling. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look it up now. 
Okay. I got my computer on, so bear with me, everybody. I'm super curious what the legs are worth. Everything's being super slow because I'm taking all the Wi-Fi, I think. Uh, Trelawney. Minifig. We need the expensive one. Inventory. What is her legs in the U.S.? Let's see. Oh, man. Look at that. The legs are the most expensive. The cheapest one in the U.S. right now is 22 bucks. For just Trelawney's legs, or her dress, anyway. That's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> so between our uh, our six dollars and twenty cents and our our twenty dollar legs, we're already back in business. <laughs> the rest of it is is I don't think anybody actually pays twenty bucks for the legs. Let's see if anybody any any of them has sold. There has been one that actually there's actually been a few that have sold for twenty bucks. That's crazy. This one is always the part that falls off. Like Bellatrix is the same way. Uh, it always falls off Bellatrix, and everybody wants you know this particular piece. Um, every single time that I like sell um, or, or or get a, a pack that has Bellatrix's body in there, there's always like pieces that are like this but black, and I'm always like looking at them, and then they're not the dress, unfortunately. So I imagine Trelawney's the same way, uh, but even rarer than than Bellatrix because it's a more rare of a set, more rare of a figure for sure. I love the Bellatrix figure though. That's always really cool. Somebody said there's wings. Oh yeah, we got a Chima fig. That's her butt chop over there. He's the Chima lover. <laughs> the Chima lover. I saw he's at some kind of fair. He's been spamming Instagram with all sorts of pictures, cool pictures of uh, people's mocks and stuff like that. If any of you guys, I'm sure all of you guys probably follow him. He's been here before me, so he's been here a while. Uh, we do have a Celebration Luke torso. That's always cool, too. We have the uh, the alligator with the other kind of alligator <laughs> jaw. This guy's got his jaw, though, so he ain't missing anything. Let me try to catch up on, on some chat here. Uh, let's see. Do you sell only the figs on your store, or do you sell pieces? Uh, I haven't gotten into pieces yet. I've just been, I just have buckets. <laughs> oh, man. I just have buckets of stuff. Uh, just pieces everywhere. Buckets and buckets of pieces. So if I ever get the time, once both my kids are in school or something like that, maybe I'll have time to do a BrickLink store with all, like, the minifig pieces and everything like that that I get. Uh, but at the moment, I don't sell pieces. Obviously, if somebody, like, asks, hey, do I have this, and I know if I have it or not, because most of the time it's just giant buckets. Uh, of pieces that I have no idea what they're, uh, <laughs> you know, what they are. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I don't sell pieces individually. I usually keep pieces like this just because I figure one of these days I'm going to open a thrift store haul and it's going to be the top of Trelawney. <laughs> like, for example, the other blind bag that I got Trelawney in, uh, if I was missing the bottom of her, then boom, I would have had the uh, the complete figure there. So generally, most of the expensive fig stuff goes in this bin. Uh, so see you later, Ingrid. Have a good night. So as you can see, we have like, you know, Commander Wolf things. We have Rebo, Max Rebo, Agent Kohler. So any of the expensive things, we have uh, OG, Django Fett. Any of the expensive things that I'm not quite done with, I'm just missing his helmet, obviously. I just wait until I get a helmet um, in in there. That's all right, Butchoff. It, it's, it's in the plans. You know, if somebody wanted a piece for me, I could definitely, you know, arrange the, sa the sale there. <laughs> uh, mostly I'm just all full figures, though. They sell a lot easier than just going to, uh, uh, you know, selling each piece. Because eBay starts charging you after a certain amount. We have a, uh, we have a store that has like a thousand listings, and we're already over that every single month. So we pay for listings at that point. So I do, I, you know, we don't really sell anything for less than like five bucks, just as a... Uh, I feel bad for my shipper if he has to ship something that's less than five dollars. So it's kind of like the is it worth the effort kind of thing. Um, kind of like on Bricklink, you can put a total there, but that's a lot easier to sell pieces on Bricklink um, because you can put a, a a master total that people can't you know go below. So you could put five bucks on Bricklink. So that's ultimately the goal. You know, eventually all this stuff. You know, if if I don't sell them and just mix and match party packs, which is usually what I do. Uh, where I give people just the ability to build their own figures, just give them a whole bunch of random pieces, kind of like you would do at like a Lego store if you were just to build a minifigure out of everything. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we don't have a storefront, so um, we do party packs and stuff like that um, to get rid of the pieces. We do have Wild Style, her torso. No arms, though. I don't know if I see anything else interesting in here, though. I think I do have another haul. I haven't checked the mail, but I do have another haul as a backup if you guys want. I think that's 
Is that Jedi Bob's face? <laughs> uh, I'm checking some chat. I think there's some crazy stuff coming. <laughs> the orange figure is from Racers. <laughs> yes. Which one was that? That's probably, oh, this one. Yeah, that's the minifigure collector for the win. That's They just go on top of those little cars, right? Just the racer, <laughs> the racer figures. <laughs> Butt job with the comedy in the chat. <laughs> Have I sold uh, San Diego Comic-Con figures? Yes. Uh, any of the ones I have. I do have, I think, one in the store right now. Um, I think I have the, what is it, Green Arrow, I think, or Green Lantern. I don't remember who it is um, in the store right now. He doesn't have his card, unfortunately, so it's been kind of a tough sell because everybody thinks he's fake. You know, <laughs> I don't blame them. You have to be very careful on eBay, uh, but he is still for sale. Uh, that's The other ones went really, really quick because the other Comic-Con ones I've gotten have been on cards. Uh, so those were a lot easier uh, to sell. Not Jedi Bob's face. He has pupils. Where was that one? I think I already put it down. I have no idea. <laughs> it's in the sea now. I have no idea where it is. Uh, we have Jack Sparrow's torso here. There again. I don't see anything else. We might have to shift over because this one's not as interesting anymore. It's just a whole bunch of city figs and stuff like that. We do have a Dragon Knight. Old school Dragon Knight helmet. You're so tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Anybody see any interesting? Oh, there we go. There's the uh, the Jedi Bob. Yeah, he does have pupils. Jedi Bob doesn't have pupils. You're right. Good call. You see some like old school knight figures. Most of it's just kind of like like what are you gonna do with this? Oop! <laughs> You're gonna throw it across the room. Now it's gone. It just totally disappeared into the depths. Where's another one I could I could uh, <laughs> say that with? Like these, what are you gonna do with these other than just kind of make random lots of figures and stuff like that? How about there's a Cloud City Boba Fett with cracking ankles and sh slight shoulder scuffing. Cracking ankles, well, if you were at my other, my uh, previous live stream, I did show that I found these at a thrift store, which was Cloud City Boba Fett's legs with the wrong belt. So if you need extra legs, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> if he's got cracking ankles, I mean, I got non-cracking ankles right here. Just the wrong belt, so. I could complete your Cloud City Boba Fett. Yeah, but he still goes pretty good. Um, shoulder scuffing, yeah. Probably, yeah, you probably get probably almost 200 bucks or so, depending. Oh, nice. <laughs> Three bucks for legs. You would know your Boba Fett. Let's see what some other people are saying here. Pops Block Shop does build your own figure station when he vends at shows. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've, I've thought about it. and It's just one of those things that's like, when you have kids, like, I don't know. <laughs> I make excuses probably. The kids are probably excuse right now. Uh, but I've thought about it. There's not a lot of vending, like, shows near me at all, specifically. Maybe there are some in Vegas. I'm in Nevada, uh, so there's not a whole lot. We're in northern Nevada, so there's not a whole lot of stuff that goes on in terms of the Lego community up here. Um, but possibly maybe in Vegas they do some shows or something to that effect. But yeah, that'd actually be really fun. I've I've actually bought some stuff from Pops Block Shop before. Uh, I think on his on his he has a brick link too. I think is most like most what he does. I believe. Dragon leg at the left bottom. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> Just the random dragon leg. <laughs> Anybody needs a, a a dragon leg that's missing one. That's like, I think that's the, the knight's dragons. It's not really the valuable dragons, unfortunately, or anything like that. Random Lego bags. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have to, you have, to have uh, a store or some kind of business in order to, to make this kind of thing worthwhile. <laughs> so what are you going to do with this? Otherwise, I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, if you were making a Lego city or something like that, you get a whole bunch of figs like this from a thrift store and be... Fine, because you could just make a lot of a lot of characters. We do have the Death Star Trooper helmet. The Death Star Trooper helmets were so dumb. <laughs> anybody gonna say that? Like, is anybody gonna say any of that? It seems like everybody just kind of ignores that. <laughs> but like, we have a bag of like Death Star Troopers and stuff like that. eBay is more profitable. All right, I've never met him in person. Where are the, the Death Trooper? Oh, that's a that's a guard. Where? What am I talking about here? These, like these ones. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. You, come on. <laughs> I can't be alone in thinking that. That the Death Star helmets are just so 
overly silly. Like all I can think about is uh, spaceship, is spaceship troopers, that mock of Star Wars, starship troopers, right? Is that is that the mock or space balls? <laughs> I can't remember. There's been a lot of them, uh, but yeah, it just makes me think of that whenever I see any of those kind of things there. Many figure collectors in Las Vegas, and you can say nope. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I was hoping. That was my only hope, because there's everything in Vegas. I mean, I mean, you know, there's every, <laughs> there's everything in Vegas. Um, but yeah, it was my only hope for some kind of convention or something like that. Um, but that's unfortunate, now that I know. We gotta start. You gotta start a, uh, a convention or something like that. He's a good friend of yours. Cool, I'll have to meet him sometime. Maybe if I end up going to some kind of convention. They're all on the East Coast, it seems like. There's some in California. If I wanted to make the trek out to California, I could do that, but... Cracked heels. What's up, Twisted? How do they use any controls for that? Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. It's so dumb. Like, what? <laughs> Stormtrooper helmets, totally awesome. Most of the helmets, totally awesome. But then they, like, they get to the Death Star, which is supposed to be, like, the craziest, scariest ship of all time. And they come out with hel <laughs> they come out with helmets like that. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Why is it so big? Why why does it not just fit tightly on their head? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm glad it's not just me. All right, we got a spotter here. Uh, let's see. In the middle, to the left, the fig with the blue unprinted torso has legs of flesh, color is the face of Prince of Persia. Ostrich set. Ah, this one? No legs? That looks like a Prince of Persia. Is that the, uh, the other Prince of Persia? This one? Does he go to this guy? I don't know anything about Prince of Persia at all. Well, yeah, that's true. Good call, Boba Fett. <laughs> I suppose. They, I, I just meant they look awesome. Uh, the Stormtrooper, in, in my opinion, like a lot of the Stormtrooper helmets, uh, I'm not a super fan of some of the First Order stuff, but for the most part, Stormtrooper helmets are like classic and, and awesome looking. But yes, <laughs> in terms of their shooting abilities and stuff like that, I would imagine that, yes, they, they were also hard to see out of. <laughs> so good call out on that one for sure. You can't let us go, can you, Lego like Boba Fett? With all your knowledge, you're flexing all your knowledge on me. This is a Prince of Persia thing too, right? That's crazy. Get up here. Is that going, that guy? We're almost completing a fig. Where'd he go? There's, there's his body, but not the one I... Oh, there we go. Is that him? Does that go right together? I don't know. You'll say if that's the right thing. <laughs> Is it just me, or when you don't watch Star Wars, everything <laughs> looks so weird? Possibly, yeah. What's up, Joey May? This is the, uh, the guy that always roasts me in the comments all the time. It's hard, man. It's hard to say the right thing sometimes, you know. <laughs> There's a good hairpiece to keep around. That's on a couple, uh, it's on, uh, oh man, Jack. Jack's hairpiece. All three parts go to Prince of Persia, just different figs. So this was uh, <laughs> this was exactly correct then, right? I could just sell that like how it is. Let's just put some legs on him then. The ones that look totally correct are, here we go. This has gotta be correct. That's it, right? <laughs> That's it? Did I nail it? Perfect, love it. <laughs> That's the one. That's how it goes. Anybody else see anything else? We do see Han's legs. That's good. Oh man, my my video started glitching out. Is that glitching on everybody? Could soon make tutorials on how to build things. Pretty spot. On. <laughs> I think it was. Should we just make that guy the thumbnail? Spot on. That's exactly. <laughs> First order equals generic, ineffectual ripoff of the empire. I, uh, I could agree. So, so do you guys want me to open up the uh, the other hall that I have? Should we just dump this all into something? 
We can dump it all out in here. I think that's getting called for uh, many figure collections calling me out. <laughs> it's calling me out. Even I even I even acknowledged the orange body after like 15 chats about it. All right. Sorry for the screeching sound. It's probably terrible on camera. All right. I don't remember what the other hall is, but it came in the mail, so it's here. All right, here we go. Which you've all been waiting for, I suppose. You didn't even know it was coming, but... Yeah, I didn't know how that haul was gonna go, just because it was random pieces. It was cool we found the Stormtrooper, though, in Trelawney. Trelawney's legs, anyways. This is wrapped in a bag. <laughs> wrapped in a bag, in a bag, wrapped in newspaper. Hopefully it's not food. <laughs> that would be a very big disappointment on all aspects of the word. Holy cow. This is why I pre-cut things, everybody. For my videos, this is exactly why I pre—I <laughs> pre-cut things. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. What this is? I have no idea. I don't remember. Not even a little bit. Do I remember? We do have a poly bag though. A nice little city astronaut poly bag. I don't know what that's from. What year that's from. Looks relatively new. Set number is kind of low though. Comment below. What year? Oh, it can't be too old. We do have a Lego Movie 2 poly bag in here as well. The mini master building Emmet. You could build so many couches with that thing. That's probably pretty new then too. But we do have the piece de resistance here. I think this looks to be all Star Wars, so all you Star Wars lovers, rejoice. Ooh, looks like we got some good figs right off the bat here. Let's go ahead and dive through this. We do have two versions of Yoda, the olive skin and the gray one there. Looks like a couple of them are mixed up, because we do see we have Ponkrell and Gungan Ponkrell. I think that's Ponkrell's body. So we should be able to just do this little... Whoop de doo. There we go. All Star Wars haters. <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. So we have Poncrell. That's a good 20, 20, $15 to $20 figure. Uh, we do have Padme in her actual most valuable form. This is about a $20, $25 figure specifically as well. We do have Eth Koth. And I think I saw his headpiece somewhere in here as well. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Heath Koth, why does that look so weird? That's right, right? Why, why does that look terrible? It looks like it's like sitting way too high on him. Is that not? Does that not look terrible? To you? <laughs> Maybe it's the wrong head. I don't know. That looks awful. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we do have the old school Lando, so hopefully his head's in here somewhere. Ooh, we have Shock T. That's a great figure. I can't keep Shock T in stock. She's about 15, I think 15 to 20 bucks now. She flies off the shelf for sure. Yes, we do have Slave Leia. Uh, that one goes to that. Unfortunately, Slave Leia is not uh, not super valuable. In this form, anyway. There is a form. Is that Coleman Traber? Yes, of course. Coleman Traber. He was at one time worth a, quite a pretty penny. I think he was a, almost up to like 30 or 40 bucks, like a ways back. Uh, he's kind of calmed down a little bit, but he's like $20. Super easy $20 sell. Uh, we have Kit Fisto. Always a good one. He's actually in great shape, too. All these things are always worn down. Oh, he's worn off on that side. Those rubber heads, man. Kind of like... Uh, kind of like... Uh, wow. Why can't I think of his name now? Plo Koon. 
He's supposed to be gray. Uh, where is it? Uh, <laughs> focus. Focus. No. <laughs> right there. Right here. Yeah, so he's all supposed to be gray right here. So that's the stuff that wears down on Kit Fisto as well. Uh, we do have an Ewok. Two Ewoks. Wicket and Paplu, actually. The team. The buddies. Bert and Ernie of Ewoks right there. Uh, we have Luke, I think. Wrong head. Creepy alter. Oh, this is the old one. Yeah, this is the one that uh, old school Watto came in. Unfortunately, I don't see any old school Watto in here. That's unfortunate because Watto's the good figure of the two. <laughs> uh, this is the super weird. Yeah, take take with it <laughs> what you will. Oh dear. <laughs> That's just an interesting figure. All together, that one is, is classic. There's another Ewok. Oh, man. Poor guy. No clones? What clone? <laughs> That's correct. It doesn't look like I see a single clone in here. They separated out the clones. They probably sold them completely separate. We do have Luminara here as well. I don't remember what the, uh, the gray Ewok was named. We have Ahsoka on... Obi-Wan's Clone Wars body. We got Anakin Pilot here. Oh, is it glitching there for you? Sorry about that. Maybe my internet is going cruddy. Is it glitching for everybody? We had a uh, C-3PO. Oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I just... Totally Chewbacca C-3PO. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. It doesn't... It's not... It's not <laughs> I don't think I can fix him, guys. It's not going to work. He was really kind of... <laughs> he was really kind of stuck. Oh. Imagine if that was the uh, the Chrome one and I was handling it so... <laughs> so, so Lenny from Mice and Men. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, poor guy. We do have Han here as well. <laughs> In the archives, yes, for sure. <clears throat> All right, we got a Gungan. Always got to have Gungans. We got Barris on a Gungan body. Ah, we have Hondo, his body. I saw. I think you guys saw the Hoth Leia. Unfortunately, not smooth hair. Bummer. No smooth hair there. That would have been cool, though. Oh, we have two versions of Padme in here. Got that that version. <laughs> to pay respect for C-3PO. Yes. Pay respect to poor C-3PO. <laughs> he gets no love in life at all. We actually had... Is this a different version of Yoda? Or is this the same one? That's the same one. Two Yodas, two olive skin Yodas. We got Qui-Gon Jinn here too, in the house. This is a Naboo pilot, I think, or security guard. Naboo security, something to that effect. Got Ray's little sand helmet. There's another one of those good capes, like the ones we uh, we got before. How rare are the Ewoks and what's the price like? Uh, Ewoks kind of vary. Um, the newer style Ewoks, like these, uh, with the actual color, are worth somewhere between uh, five and eight bucks, generally, depending. Usually I like to sell like a whole pack of them, so like five, uh, one of each kind, one of each color anyways. They're not super valuable, but they're actually pretty good sellers. We do have another pilot here, just a regular guy. We have Dak with Luke's body. You guys seeing that? <laughs> Are you seeing that? What is wrong? That's not what he's supposed to look like, right? Like, that's actually his headpiece, though, right? More comments about Eth Koth. <laughs> it's sitting really high. Am I not? It says Lego. Is it, like, super misprinted, or is that just how he looks? I thought that thing sat, like... <laughs> is that just me? This is Agent Kohler's body? No, this is Eth Koth, right? Where's Agent Kohler's body? This one? Oh, that one could be. Yeah, that could be Agent Kohler's body. You're right. 
Do we have an Agent Kohler's head is the question. Let's look through the, uh, the valuables here. As I scrape through, make scratches on all of the, uh, all the figures. Nope, it's Previsla's helmet. I think I did have some part of Agent Kohler in here. It was her hairpiece or something like that. Or his. Oh, there we go. Agent is his, isn't it? There we go. Right? I don't have the headpiece though. <laughs> so you can imagine. It goes like it goes like that, right? Right? That's it. <laughs> Were you guys pointing at a different torso? I think that's the torso you guys are saying was Agent Kohler. That's it, yeah. So, Ethkoth, did we, did, did we figure out Ethkoth? That's new Ethkoth? With his super head? All right, let's catch up on some chat. It looks too high, yeah, that's what I said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is funny, because you'd think there'd be like something in there, or something to that effect, but... Unless it's just not sitting like down. I'm pushing as hard as I can, though. Yeah, I wonder if that's just a misprinted thing or something like that, because I don't think that's what he's supposed to look like. He just looks real goofy. Real goofy. What was going on in the chat while I was going through all of those things? I think that's pretty much it for the uh, figures. There's, like, pieces in here for some reason. I got him, too. Uh, let's see. What do we miss out on? I'm going to scroll up on the chat here. Mr. Gray Ewok. C-3PO's death. <laughs> oh, man. Not checking under the arms? I'm sorry. I do normally do that. I will do that later. Maybe Leppin. It does say Lego. It doesn't look like Leppin. It doesn't feel like Leppin at all. Professor Kabinsky, so mad, currently sick. Oh man. Two important exams. The rubber was molded too low. Yeah, sell it for 1300 as a misprint. <laughs> I don't know if the misprint community has $1,300. I'm not 100% sure. There's one person that, that ends up buying like all of my misprints uh, for the most part. Um, but usually, like I got like a backwards Chewbacca um, right when I first started. And I think I sold that for like 75 bucks uh, or something like that specifically. Still here picking me up a carcass for dinner. Gene Ocean at the top left. Yeah, we got the Gene Ocean with no wings. I have a problem with the Rebel. His helmet won't stay on. Oh, the Eeth Goth problem? Yeah, it could be. The rubber's a little bit, if you can see. I don't know if you can see in there. Maybe his little... Head peg is just not fitting in there correctly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> looks like he's wearing a hat instead of it actually being his head. Let's see. Actually, let's yeah. Let's combine this. Let's see if we can see if this looks weird too. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, see, Joey, I got. I beat you to it. I had the same idea. So yeah, that sits way lower and like the actual thing comes down between his eyes and then we see <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's not uh that's not great this one doesn't have like that little kind of cone piece that comes down so that's a little bit deceiving but yeah definitely sitting way high and I can't push it on there any further. So I'm guessing it probably just just sit. There's like a little piece of rubber there that's keeping it keeping it from going in, which is interesting. I don't think that'd really be a misprint of value or, or anything like that specifically. But we figured it out, everybody. We sleuthed it out. So now that we're done with hauls, does anybody have any questions or anything like that that they wanted to ask? I was thinking about doing like a question series, kind of like M&R Productions does. Just like a ask a reseller kind of questions for any of you who wanted to know how much a uh, Cloud City Boba Fett was that was 
cracked heels <laughs> and rubbed shoulders. TikTok. Oh, the TikTok talk. TikTok talk. The TikTok talk. It seems like it's pretty fake. Uh, I mean, it feels the same as a regular ETH goth one. It feels the same as this one does. It looks the exact same printing in there. You can see the exact same uh, lettering and everything like that. So I think it's definitely legitimate. It's just kind of the rubber itself didn't get printed very well. Do I like Pokemon? I uh, never got into Pokemon at all. Uh, I do play video games. I used to play video games a lot when I was a kid. Uh, then I had kids, and now I don't get to play video games at all, specifically. Um, unfortunately, I would like to get into video games again. That'd be really cool, but... Favorite hockey team? Uh, Sharks. They're the closest ones to me. Unfortunately, they're terrible right now. What's the rarest figure in this collection? This one, probably Coleman. Or Shakti, I would say. The oldest figure I have, I don't know, I, I bought a lot that has like a whole bunch of the super old like 60s and 70s Legos. Those didn't have minifigures. I don't remember when the first minifigure came out, but I have a really a lot of really, really old Legos. <laughs> Face reveal. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I, I guess if you didn't watch any of the uh, 60k collection videos or anything like that, you would have no idea what I looked like. <laughs> They're on there though. They're on there. 1978, yeah. I don't know if I have, like, the, the very first um, figure, but I do have quite a few of just random ones there. What's your views on the Ewok Village? I think it's really cool. Uh, I have an Ewok Village that I started, and I actually was just building it with my wife at nights, uh, and then we were missing, like, 10 pieces for something, and then we just stopped, and that was like a year and a half ago. So it's sitting up on my kitchen, like, above my refrigerator, just like three quarters complete. <clears throat> so yeah, but I think it's a cool build. I think the Ewok Village is definitely the coolest of all of the play builds, like the actual Star Wars play builds. Definitely better than the Death Star. I hated the Death Star. I hate that set. <laughs> it's so blocky like I have one in my shop that we are gonna sell and I just I don't know what to do with it because it's not a hundred it's just like missing like five pieces and I don't want to like take it all apart at all it was just such a pain putting all those plates together I don't want to put it like take it apart anymore <laughs> so oh all right dx3 take it easy man 450 subs yeah it's been we've been actually growing pretty fast now which is really cool Interested in getting some of the old Lego wooden toys? The old stuff, um, obviously the 80s stuff sells pretty well. The stuff that I'm really, really into. The really, really old stuff is very, very niche market. So I've had kind of mixed success with like the really, really old stuff. Um, you know, it, it's hard to say whether I'd get into that. Probably not. I just don't really have a whole lot of interest. I try to like keep the stuff that I'm actually somewhat interested in. I thought about it, Joey, uh, selling it incomplete uh, and just kind of saying like as is, <laughs> just shipping it in a box um, just because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Um, you'd buy all the knockoff pieces. Those all go in a in a bag. I have like, actually I have a box now of just knockoff stuff and Halo stuff and, um, you know, stuff like that that I don't know what to do with. I'll probably just make a make an eBay lot or something like that that sells it all. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? How to keep my Rebel tro <laughs> Trooper's helmet on? Uh, just the regular Rebel Trooper helmet, like these guys. I'm assuming you're talking about these dudes. Sometimes the, with helmets, that little kind of piece right there gets loose for some reason. You can always try to, like, tighten it up, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really work. <laughs> uh, usually, if I if the helmet doesn't go on, I kind of give up on it. I don't know if there's a, a quicker fix for that or something like that. But I usually don't spend my time trying to uh, to do all that stuff. Han Solo next to the rebel pilot in the middle. Ah, I think that I don't think that's his body though. I think that's a this poly bag's like attacking me. <laughs> I think that I don't know whose body that is. 
when I look at it. Anybody know? I don't think that's his, though. Keeping vintage sealed sets from 70s and 90s is worth it, or the price go down in 20 or 30 years. Oh, is that Kiyadi Mundi? Okay, that makes more sense. Um, it's kind of like stocks. You never know with investing, but ultimately... I would say it's pretty safe investment. <laughs> Judging from like the castles and stuff like that, uh, 20 to 30 years, they're crazy right now. So it's it's hard to say whether they'll keep going up. There, there's gotta be some kind of point where they stop going up. Like the Lego castles, their castles now that are selling for over two grand, um, which if, you know, plug, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that. Um, but it's hard to say how much they'll go up because it's, it's at, at the end of the day, it's like the same bricks. <laughs> it's like all the same stuff. So it's so like, there's gotta be some point where it ends um, and stops. But I mean, at one point, the, the 10179 Falcon was going for 10 grand. So obviously there's, there's some collector market in there that makes it, um, you know, a lot better. But if Lego did anything like reintroducing old castles are doing legend sets on like all of those things i think the value would just plummet which is always the scary thing i would love them to do that specifically but it's kind of a scary prospect uh in the fact that if, if you're sitting on a whole bunch of this stuff uh and you don't sell it then it's going to be a tough sell later on <laughs> that's for sure you have castles yeah a lot of castles were destroyed oh man that hurts Kid Anakin with short legs. Oh, did my... I think my video paused. Are we back? Sorry about that. I think I had a low battery on my phone or something like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, favorite Lego set in the past five years? Um, hmm. Past five years. Man, I really got to think about that. I really liked the Red 5 X-Wing. I think that was one of my favorite ones to build because it's just like, it's the just the classic X-Wing. And when I was building it, I didn't expect it to be as large as it was. Uh, so that was really cool. I really, really enjoyed the, the Red 5 X-Wing. Six, four, four. You won't find it anywhere. Yeah, there's some of those sets that, like a lot of the ones, if you guys watch that big, huge haul that I drove to Chicago for, um, a lot of those sets, there's like none for sale in the entire world. <laughs> uh, but then is there anybody buying it in the entire world too? So there's always that too. I did find like a uh, a Target exclusive set uh, that was like three mini builds. Um, and it's like, I think it was like 30 years old and there's just there's never been a sale of it on Bricklink in the last six months, nothing on eBay whatsoever. But is it worth money because of that? It's always hard to say like if it's actually going to be sold. So those are kind of like the random ones. I bought it because it was like 20 bucks and I was like, that's cool. Um, and I think I posted it up for like $100 <laughs> or something like that uh, just to see, you know, what happens or, or anything like that. Um, because you never know, somebody may be looking for that. But it's always hard to say. For 20, 30 years, uh, the ones that are already 20, 30 years older, it, it's either sky's the limit or they're going to tank and Lego's going to reintroduce something or they're just not going to be worth it to the people who aren't in Lego anymore. I think those castle sets are crazy now because of the fact that like people like me in my 30s, um, are that was like our childhood. So... I think that's why they have such a high value right now, but I don't think that that is going to be the same in 20 to 30 years. We're not, you know, I guess you're going to have like 60 year old guys who are retired and now have time to collect Legos or something like that. That could be, <laughs> that could be the case. Have you noticed any dip in quality of Legos the past years? Oh yeah, absolutely. You can get old sets that just are totally fine. Like they just are totally, the bricks look totally awesome and they don't crack or anything. And then you get a set that's brand new and it just shatters. Anything that's blue or red or reddish brown plates and stuff like that. I was just actually taking apart a, uh, a Pirates of the Caribbean Queen Anne's Revenge and it just, like three of the three of the things just snapped instantly <laughs> when I tried to take them apart. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely gotten worse in Lego plastics uh, for sure. Uh, the black one as well, but I got two white ones. 
wait, worker caps. I have no idea. The old the old school worker caps, I'm not sure. The new Lego figures crack. I haven't noticed really the well, I mean I, I do get cracks all the time in them, so <laughs> I guess that could be the truth as well. Uh because you do get really, really old figures. I have a bin of old figures and they're totally fine. Like Mtron guys and stuff like that. They're totally fine as well. Took apart the Venator. Yeah. <laughs> the Venator was one of the worst. If you have a Venator, just leave it. And if you're going to sell it, just sell it in a box like that. <laughs> because the Venator just disintegrates. Those reddish, those dark red tiles. Oh my gosh. Those things just absolutely disintegrate when you try to do anything with them. Whatsoever. <laughs> it's totally crazy. I totally agree on that one. You're only 18 if you want to keep them or not. Um, it's a good time to sell those kind of things, I think. I mean, obviously, they could keep going up as the the, the uh, stock goes lower. Somebody buys it and opens it. There's less and less sealed ones. It's a, it's definitely tough um, to kind of make that decision. It's kind of like, you know, like a gold coin. If you have it, you're just going to sit on it for gold to go up. Who knows? Um, it's the same kind of thing. And they're up really high right now. So I think it's a great time to sell vintage castle stuff right now. I think it's, it's a pretty good pretty great time in terms of prices from what I'm seeing them going on auction and stuff like that. Um, so if you have to finance something, otherwise, I mean, if you're not doing anything, you don't need the money, then you could just sit on it and just see what happens or sell half and see what happens. But if, if you need the money for anything, or if you're looking at getting something else, then yeah, definitely a good time to sell. Lego Porg. I loved the Lego Porg. That thing was freaking awesome. I loved the Lego Porg build. Dark red in the very back in the day was very very fragile as well. Yeah, it's something about the coloring, the dye or something like that. What mega figure mini, mini figures as I can speak available now? Do you think will be worth a lot in twenty twenty dollars range or more in the future? That's a tough question. I don't really have a lot of the newer uh, figures. Some of the unique stormtroopers and stuff like that, like this guy, um, the Conveyx guy. I think some of those things will hit if they don't get remade, if they're only in one particular thing, like we saw with the Scarif troopers. Um, if they're very limited supply, then that's usually when they hit, hit it big. Um, but it's very hard to know. Usually just anything that's been released, limited quantity, that's a cool figure. Because there's some limited quantities that aren't really cool <laughs> nobody really cares uh but then there's other limited figures that just explode so it's definitely hard to say any unique prints of jedi and stuff like that that aren't made uh again are all, always going to be over 20 bucks the lego yoda bb8 i liked the bb8 build a lot dio not sure too early for that one lego yoda i had the old school one I've, i haven't really seen the new the new one it looks kind of weird. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they redid that one. I think they had a really good build on the last one. Invest in, like I said, bought some for, and they almost turned into 1k after three months. Yeah, there's definitely some some great investments out there that you can get into. Do you think the UCS Falcon will ever retire? It's been on the shelf for a long time. Yeah, eventually. Everything retires, but it could be like the Death Star that's just out there for years and years and years and years, and they just don't care. <laughs> it seems like they're just never going to retire the Death Star. Unless that's retired now, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Mandalorian will be worth a bit. Um, yeah, like the actual Mandalorian. The Mandalorian battle packs will be worth nothing, I don't think. They're going to be worth absolutely zero. Because there's going to be so many people that buy those. There's just going to be a market just flooded with those things. Uh, so I don't think they're going to be worth much at all. Um, kind of like the other Mandalorian Mandalorians were until the Mandalorian came out. And now they're actually worth quite a bit. Uh, Jonah's gonna head out. I'm actually probably gonna head out as well. It's been about an hour. My phone's probably gonna die here. So I do appreciate all of you who came onto the live stream. Sorry about the video quality. If it stopped or anything, my battery <laughs> was going low and it was alerting me that my battery was going low. So thank you all for coming to the second live stream. Uh, we'll try to do some more of these. I have a whole bunch of blind, of blind bags coming in. So if you guys do like the mysterious blind bag, uh, we'll go through more of those for sure. But thank you all for coming. Love y'all. And I'll catch you on the next one.